Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Imperial Agent Edition. Now, when we left off, we had just spoken to Kaleo and exhausted all of her conversations and married her. But we now have yet another companion to speak to, and that is Vector. Agent, we're finalizing our exit report for the diplomatic service. 34 pages of seating charts, ambassador profiles, and appendices. We'll transmit it to our superiors, and then we're yours full time. You're going to be an asset to this team, Vector? We certainly hope so. You know, we used to advise first contact missions to new star systems. We met some unusual people, but we haven't had many new experiences since joining the Kilix. Time to broaden our horizons. To see everything fresh, from a Killick perspective. Something of the sort. Tastes, sounds, smells. They're all a bit different. But we won't bore you. Lead the way. What can I do for you, Vector? Agent, excuse us a moment. We hear the song. The nest awakens. Light fills the hive. And we are one. Apologies. It's the hour of revitalization, and as Dawn Herald, we still participate, in spirit if not in person. You talk about being Dawn Herald, but I don't know what that is. Traditionally, the Dawn Herald is a warrior and emissary for the Nest, one who confronts the unknown. As Herald, we are more than a typical joiner, and we retain a sense of individuality. It's also why we're useful to you. You're physically enhanced and linked to the nest. Yes. Ironic that we fight more now than we ever did in the Hive. Except in the season of Akamaka. In any case, we still honor the Killick's gift. But surely everyone carries over rituals and habits from their lives before intelligence? Who I was then made me who I am today. For the most part. You should tell us about your past. When we have time, we'd like to hear it. Last night, we ate our first ration bar since leaving the nest. We savored the flavor for two hours. We could taste every nutrient, every chemical compound and trace of foil. Do you know what joining the Killix does to a person's senses? Should I be sending you on more nighttime missions? We can't see into every spectrum or smell poison under our nose, but our eyesight has improved. That does bring up something we want to discuss. How do you see our role as operative on your team? You're a capable partner and I value your input. And our skill set? Keeper described us as a covert assault agent. Our role as Dawn Herald gives us that capacity. We just don't know if that's the only reason we're here, or if it should be. You have abilities I don't, as does your nest. We should use them. We see. We'll give that due consideration. Thank you for your help, Agent. Agent, we hope you don't mind, but we were wondering something. Do you have a family? Siblings, a wife, people to go home to after a mission? Not a question I was expecting, I'll confess. We aren't trying to pry. We're just trying to understand how you... How anyone in this job keeps a tether to the real world. None of us can exist in isolation forever. Ordinary life is easy to forget. That's why we have to remind one another. Fair enough. Then we all share that responsibility. Thank you, Agent. You wanted to talk? Yes. The suns are warmer here. Nothing that smells so green when the gamma bursts come. Even the song can rest. We must go. Auras mingle. Apologies, Agent. Emissaries from our nest. They stowed away aboard the ship and have accompanied us since we left Alderaan. They're becoming quite sociable. I don't see a swarm around you. Can they turn invisible? No, but they can grow very large or very small. These live within our flesh. 
The Kilix of Alderaan know little of the galaxy, only what they absorb through joiners. Our journey teaches them a great deal, but there is something that intrigues us, intrigues the nest. The fate of our lost kin. What lost kin? Alderaan has only a handful of nests, sleeping beneath the castle lands and awakening every few centuries. The other Kilix migrated off-world millennia ago. No one knows what became of them, or whether they survived. But the migration is a primal memory. We miss them. If the Citadel has any record of Kilik encounters, we can find out. We appreciate that, Agent. It may help. We don't know if it's truly important to find them. But as Dawn Herald, we'll be watching. We've been dreaming lately. Great Spitcrete vessels weep dew above the castle lands. Their engines scorch the air. Dartship swarms shade the sky, humming a song of farewell. We remember the Great Migration. When the lost nests departed Alderaan. What was the point of the Migration? Why did so many Kilix leave? That, we don't remember. Resources, perhaps? But there's something else. In our dream, there is a mosaic that mirrors the stars and shows us the Lost One's destination. We request leave for a pilgrimage agent to follow the first steps of the migrant Kilix. You think the Lost Nests are still out there? It's been millennia since the migration and we doubt we'll see more than dust or petrified shells. Still, the journey honors our kin. We're already packed. I'll be here when you're done. Take care of yourself. And you. So, you made it back from your pilgrimage. Our journey is over. We saw strange worlds and markers set in stone and frozen lakes of steaming colors, but no Kilix. The colony found planets that suited them, but none that could support them. They divided into a thousand nests, each going its own way, to a hundred different stars. I know this isn't the end you were hoping for. We forged a connection to the lost colony. Even if we didn't find it, this means a great deal. In any event, we're sorry. What? There is a scent here. You're not giving up already. We apologize for surprising you, but it took time for us to become aware of your presence. More to find you. But we welcome you nonetheless. We are Dizana, of the Lassai Nest. Maybe you should handle this. Dizana of Lese. We are Vector Hillis. Dawn Herald of Ouroboro. Ouroboro? We barely recognize the scent. We thought we'd lost the nests of Alderaan until you followed. Our fleet ship pursued you here. The colony still exists, spun across the stars. Our nests still kin. A trillion and more Killix will dance and sing tonight. Your ship followed Vector on his way back from the pilgrimage. Even after he was gone, he left an impression we could follow. Our emissaries are not far from your own. Let them touch, and bring knowledge. Yes. The Lace shall rejoice. She offers dancing and Membrosia the chance to walk the tunnels of the Synapse Comb. The Don Herald must come with us. As his partner, you may accompany and share in our joy. I'd, I'd love to see a Killig celebration lead the way. Don't worry. We'll be out before the pheromones bond to your system. The Membrosia runs in golden rivers. You're doing well. Accompany the joiners, if you wish. Morning comes soon. We're impressed. You held up well. More to the point, you brought together the fragments of an ancient people. We can't fully express our gratitude. We hear the singing of a thousand nests, 
and are at peace. I'm glad you're in high spirits. Call it a day then. Agreed, Agent. Agent, we've had time to think since reuniting the Killick colony. Not that our work hasn't kept us busy, but... We didn't actually thank you for allowing our pilgrimage. You should come with us next time. No need to thank me. You ever need support, just say the word. We'll try not to make you regret that offer. In any case, we should get back to work. We promised Kalia we'd keep the hatchlings away from her quarters. Which means some training is in order. Kalia hasn't said much about you. Everything going all right? After some early missteps, we're learning to tolerate one another. We no longer invite her to the Jarek games. She no longer spits in our tea. Give us a few months. We've negotiated with worse. How are things, Vector? Agent, when we communed with the other nests, we saw a force for change in the galaxy. There are killicks as large as starships and as small as mites. Join us from a hundred species on a thousand worlds. We mean to report on the Killick colony to the diplomatic service. The colony's been in hiding for a long time. The Killicks may not appreciate it. We've shared thoughts with Daisana of the Lacey Nest, and we've assessed the limits of their cooperation. If the service can make entreaties to the colony, if we make them an ally, We'll have a foothold in the unknown regions. We'd have access to Killick craftsmanship, joiner information. Even without their military support, they would be invaluable. What would an Imperial Killick Alliance take? We've outlined a proposal. The Killicks want peace and resources, and the Empire can offer both. And if the Empire doesn't make allies of the Killicks, someone else may get to them first. However I can assist, say the word. We'd ask you to sign off on the report. Other than that, we'll keep your offer in mind. Thank you. Agent, we heard back from the diplomatic service about our proposed alliance with the Killick colony. Our report was soundly ignored. It seems we have less credibility than we thought. You don't sound very concerned. A colleague named Folner S sent the update on our report along with a message. He wants us to call him, accompanied by our handler. We believe he means you. Put him through, we'll see what he wants. Master Hillis, I'm so glad you got my message. How are you? How's Anya? Anora. We haven't seen her in some time. But we hear she's well. And your son? I'm stationed on Balmora, still hoping to join the Shadow Fist. And you must be the handler. It's a privilege to meet you. I want you to know I wouldn't try anything without your approval, but I'm hoping you'll loan out Vector to me. Vector contacted you about a Killick alliance. Why would you need him? My superiors don't see the wisdom in Vector's advice. I do. Yet I lack the authority to force the issue. Someone is blocking you? Tarab, Sabini, the usual crew. If I'm to win them over, I need influence. Vector, with your ties from the service and the colony's knowledge, I could amass a string of victories. And the more I succeed through your consultations, the better chance your Killick Imperial Alliance comes to pass. What's your take on all this? He wants us to play politics. But that is how things are accomplished. Perceptive man. I'll be in touch with specifics. We appreciate your help, Agent. We'll make it worthwhile to you, to the Empire, and to the Colony. Agent, you recall we spoke to the diplomatic service about building an alliance between Empire and Kilix? Folner Eth, the man who offered his backing in return for our assistance, has asked us for his first favor. You can't tell me you don't have doubts about him. Of course we do. But we don't have another option. Folner wants our notes on various families and unaligned worlds in the Questel sector. He means to bring that sector into the Empire. We worked in Questel a long while, and we knew its people well. 
It's odd to see someone else take the reins. You don't talk about your old life. We don't often have a reason to think about it. We do miss negotiating, reaching out to understand people, synthesizing their needs. Daisana of the Lessai Nest says that desire makes us a better joiner. It's only small comfort. I remember her. I didn't know you two were in contact. Through the unseen emissaries that travel with us, we hear her voice from time to time. But that isn't relevant now. We'll give Fulna what he wants, for the sake of the Empire and the Colony. You wanted something, Vector? We do not neglect our duties. We are Dawn Herald. We do this for the Nest. Agent, we've had another request from Fulna Eth, our ally inside the diplomatic service. We need to take a short leave. I heard you talking to the emissaries of the Nest. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. The distance from our kin is unusual and causes rifts. Fulner's stock is rising, but he needs further acclaim before he can push for a Kilik Imperial Alliance. He's asked us to visit a former Republic governor named Yogana Thanoth and win his cooperation by turning him into a joiner. So you're supposed to strip a man of his individuality and make him part of the nest? We'd hoped Fulner wanted us for our diplomatic skills, not for this. The joining should be a gift, but we will find a way. You know this isn't right. Don't do it, Vector. We appreciate your concern. We ask that you trust our decision. You're back. Did you find your man? We spoke to the Republic Governor. If you'll join us, we'll report the details to Fulna Eth. My friends, it's been too long. Falna, we assume you've heard from Thenoth. He contacted me from an Imperial transport. Apparently we promised to work with him. Not what I requested, but the service can make do. There was no need to make him a joiner when he was amenable to discussion. You haven't lost your touch as a diplomat after all. Not entirely, no. You kept your promise. Thanoth's assistance resulted in my promotion. I will keep my promise to you. Some important people are waiting, Vector. They're very interested in a potential Kilik alliance. You arranged this? As soon as I knew we could work together. Check the data I'm streaming to your main console. Thank you, Fulner. Excuse us a moment, Agent. It's like talking to a bug wearing a man's skin. I don't know how you stand it. He's a brave man and a loyal Imperial. You can't be serious. Those creatures are anathema to everything the Empire stands for. There's no place for great men in a hive mind. Only animal instinct. I'll be relieved when you people finish this scheme and get rid of the colony for good. Agent, they listened. They don't understand yet, but they listened. The diplomatic service has requested my aid and wants to initiate relations with the colony. This Infalna Earth is keeping his deal, but he's repulsed by Kilix. We can't trust him. He admits it? We always did get an odd sense from him. It's out of his hands now, though. We should watch him, but we'll be focused on the future. Agent, we received a small gift from the diplomatic service in appreciation of our work with the Kilix. A package of wine, meat and breadfruit all imported from the colony worlds. Not inexpensive and a bit extravagant during wartime. Aren't extravagant gifts part of the diplomatic process? Maybe, but we'd rather they treated us as one of their own, not as a foreigner to be won over. In the meantime, you're welcome to help yourself. We may as well enjoy the taste of progress. What do you have for me? Encouraging news. Watch. 
Don Harold, forgive the message, but our emissaries were out of reach and we couldn't wait to link with you. Imperial scout ships entered colony space and made contact yesterday. We traded in Membrosia, Silk, and Star Maps. We could smell the men's fright, but they left in peace. Perhaps you were right after all. A long way from a signed treaty, but it's a start. You and that joiner seem to get along. Dazana is a nestmate, and we find her insight illuminating. We're in touch with the diplomatic service as well. There's still resistance, but we're progressing. Kilix and Imperials may share space in our lifetime. What's going on? Agent, in our work with the diplomatic service, we find ourselves talking to people we once knew. We've been contemplating this. Hello, Vector. It's Anora. I, I don't know if you remember me, but Bryson said he thought you would, and... I wanted to talk to you. I know things didn't end well, but I never forgot. You need to get out of there. Come back to Drummond Cass, and we'll get you help. We can undo what the Killix did. There are still people who care about you. We've watched it 17 times and meditated to the static. It can be difficult to be reminded of your past. Can it? We were nearly engaged to Honora very long ago. We never considered that there are people who want us restored to what we were. But watching this, feeling nothing, we know we're no longer who we were when we loved her. People change, even without becoming part Killig. It's part of life. We think you're right. But we had to hear it from another. And we are content. It is done, Agent. We can scent the pulse of your heart. We can taste particles of solar radiation bead-like dew on our lips. We have undergone the chrysalis of tranquility. And we are reborn. I don't know what that means, but I'm glad you're excited. The chrysalis is a ritual of the Dawn Herald. It makes us stronger, better able to face the enemies of the nest, and enhances our link to the universe. You've brought us this far, and we will fight alongside you. We have news, Agent. We've been conferring lately with the Ambassadors, Moffs, Speakers for the Sith, all with their own agendas and concerns, none with any love for the Kilix. But we swayed a few and found ways around others. Now the diplomatic service has agreed to seek a treaty. An alliance with the Killick colony. It's what you've been wanting. What we've been working toward together. Some of the nests are still reluctant, Horro and Manam in particular, but all parties involved have agreed to a summit. We'll preside over the negotiations ourselves. I'm at your disposal. I want this to work. So do we. Thank you, Agent. Imagine. Colony and Imperial representatives in one room. It shall be interesting. Agent. We've been speaking to the Nests in preparation for the Killick Imperial Summit. They're so much in tune with their biology. The Colossaloc are warriors as large as houses, and they're convinced the Empire should be crushed. But the Saras are weavers and shapers, and they're eager to trade. You're all one species, aren't you? How can that much biological diversity be possible? From the beginning, there was the joining, and that links us, even as our bodies evolve over millennia. Of course, that's just what our memories tell us. The colony has never specialized in scientific research. We should return to our preparations. We'll talk later. We are set, Agent. Preparations for the Killick Imperial Summit are underway, and the first ambassadors are arriving on site. We're meeting on Alderaan, in the House of Thule. We couldn't think of a more appropriate place. Alderaan it is. Where's my invitation? You don't want to sit through it all. But there is a favor we'd like to ask. More than any other Imperial, you've seen the nests and how they function. Your word could carry weight. Before we leave, we'd appreciate your honest assessment. 
one final report that we can present to the Imperial Summit attendees. An alliance with the Kilix would benefit the Empire immensely, and I'm not afraid to say so. I'll have a report to you by the time you reach Alderaan. We look forward to it. Agent, the summit is over. It was not without incident. Daisana of the Lessai Nest is dead. I thought things were looking up. How did the summit turn violent? Fulner F, our contact in the diplomatic service, attempted to sabotage the proceedings. Daisana was caught in an explosion, saving an ambassador. And when we traced it to Fulner, he had a speech prepared. Damn you! Listen to them. Do you want to ally the Empire with these creatures? Everything they do defies what we stand for. The Kilix are an abomination. Our Empire is based on the notion that a great individual rises to the top, and the lesser masses follow. The Kilix hive mind devours greatness, absorbs every possibility into a mire of primal instinct. We found his words troubling, and his actions more so. I expect that didn't help the talks. No, but we reconvened after Fulmer was gone. The colony allows billions of Kilix and joiners to serve something greater, the Nest Consciousness. Just as Imperials serve the Sith and the Emperor. That is what we told the others. That is how we signed a treaty between the Empire and the Kilix. I wish it hadn't gone the way it did. We couldn't have known Fulner would go so far. You and Daisana, even Fulner, you all brought us to this point. Our future is hopeful. Things are looking bright. Let's enjoy it while it lasts. We end a verse in the song of the universe. Soon, we will hear another. Vector, what's going on? It's strange. Since the summit, our mind keeps drifting back to diplomacy, but we have nowhere to apply our skills. Still, we should be grateful Killick Imperial relations are going well. And it's time we rededicated ourselves to your work. You planning to learn sniper techniques? Nothing so extreme. But we can discipline ourselves and study our opponents. We've been privileged over these past months. Until opportunity comes again, on to the less glamorous job we signed up for. Yes, Vector? Agent, we'll never be a great spy or covert assault operative. But you've helped us to be a diplomat and a Dawn Herald. You've been a brother to us. And we're thankful for your guidance. There aren't many people I trust to save my life. I'm glad to have you at my side. We received a message from the Kilix. The colony embraces the Imperial Alliance, and offered us the chance to become Dawn Herald to all nests. We refused, as our priorities are clear. We'll work with you and defend your legacy until the end. And there we have it. Our priorities are clear from Vector himself. And wow, that was a lot of conversation, I gotta say. Wow. Well, very impressive. But yes, that is it. That is it for Vector's portion of the bonus episodes. And next we'll be doing, I believe, Dr. Loken. And so I thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.